shot, and Clafton holding his ground to keep that one out of the back of the net. And Del Greco for chasing him down and really forced him to shoot, I think, a little earlier than he wanted to. Back in across the line now for the Thunderhawks. That's Peart with it, gets it deep, and now it's Illies who so a good question, with the power though. play. Or I'm sorry, Thunderhawks with the power play for 30 seconds remaining still here. It's Peart back in behind his own net. Peart, oh, nice job Smooth. through the wickets. Just got Dahl to open it right up. Back to cor the corner goes off the deflection. McCur uh, Murphy, McCray Murphy. Wonder if he was named after Basil McCray. Ooh. Parents would probably be about that vintage. Wide of the mark. I'm going to go with it. <laughs> I feel it. And if someone out there knows, I want the uh, information shared with our uh, chat there on the YouTube, and John Sands will relay back to us. And if anybody else. the line, in back behind it goes. Clafton will cut it off. Peart better hurry because Clark was in on him. Peart, though, handles the pressure and finds Sterl. Now they'll play this one closely as Kevin Enriquez. Now they'll play this one back up into the center ice area. Regrouping on the stick now of the very talented Jack Peart. Look at that nifty move. Left wing side, Murphy. Two and five for the skippers. They got off to Schneid. Well, they've been dealing with some health issues and sickness. Well, the whole team's been sick. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, if you listen to Goldie's pot, he's been spot on, you know. That strain has gone all the way through. He somehow avoided it. I was wearing um, the mask and the gloves, the whole thing. I wouldn't even, I'd use the Kleenex to open the door, throw it away, the whole thing. No comment from Bernard. <laughs> it's going to get us some pictures here tonight so we can write some stories on the uh, whole effort. Very excellent. Peart with it. Ooh, down goes DeVoe. Peart stays on it. Right wing side, he goes to Morkway. His shot's blocked. And played back in behind the net. They look back up high. Morkway has traffic shot. I don't know if that got through. No. It Stayed right there in the low slot area. Hit as Boltman. It's played He's back through. That's for shaking He's it hurting. back through. That's for shaking it off, if you will. Now it's controlled, played back down the boards by Peart, but the Hornets read that one with Stone. Across the line, Boltman up at the play, wants more. Save, oh, a rebound. Boltman absolutely couldn't believe that Clafton got that left pillow thrown. That was incredible. Well, it was impressive, he got, to, he got a stick on that one, but Clafton with a good follow-up on that one as well. Peart behind the net, out front they go, and that's a stop by Clafton, boy. He's I'm always riding in your wake, so to never oh, forget goodness. that. Puck is played back in by Wyatt Worst. He had his first of his career. Goes short side shelf in the second period. I believe that was for the three nothing oh. lead. Oh, had to reach over to his left. Played back up by Borst. Borst finds Stone, his shot's blocked. Nice defensive play by Peart, who else? Cross center ice he goes, puts on the brakes. Oh, spinorama. Forrest was there to help out. Peart wedges. And now it's on the stick of Dahl as he carries this one up to the right wing side as he's being pressured. Dahl somehow angles his way in, misses the mark. High over the glass it goes and back up into the neutral zone. Off the stick of Willie Johnson. Henches slides over to make the play with some help from Dahl. It's played to center now by Clark. Thunderhawks will change on the floor. So good busy stick, ramp that one up. It was a golden opportunity for the Thunderhawks. That's what they can build upon. Keep getting those and good things are gonna happen. Good stick by Worst though. He's had a really good game. Which one? <laughs> both. <laughs> yeah. Well, they're both really steady, smart players. Their dads were really good players, good coaches. You can tell. Detailed players. Off to the left wing side, Holcomb back into the corner. Murphy stays on the puck. Up high to the line, Del Greco. He's watched by Willie Johnson. Guided back in behind by Bischoff all the way around to the far side. Holcomb is there as he found Murphy. Murphy protects. Now he's going to cycle back to the corner, back up to the line they go. Top of the circle. Now it's Del Greco. He's poked at there by Willie Johnson. Power play continues for another minute. There's a shot in on goal up high on Del Greco. Ooh, something to build on moving forward. 
Knocked off a stick. Jeez. And here they come. Now, Peart's been one of the better players it's all fun the way to watch. around for both teams. Very I like his game a lot. Boy, him and Boltman as a pair on the point, that'd be kind of nice. Could you imagine? That would be something to watch. There's a shot that's turned aside. Peart, of course, is going to be headed to play up at St. Cloud State. They're getting a good, a good one. Good one there for sure. It was Wilson who played that one rink wide and gets it back in the oh, five boxer. minutes to go in the third period. Four nothing in favor of Edina. Back up across the center red. There's a wrist shot that misses the mark and all the way up to the line it goes. Enriquez steps over, plays that one ahead. Overman knocks that to center. And the Hornets once again quickly take their defensive posture. Emmett Worst. And back into the neutral zone it goes. It's going to be Williams who plays that well. Their ball out here again. I knew, I knew it was going to be Williams. I know, that was funny. It was funny. Over to Worst. Yeah, you guys kind of know which one we're talking about now. By now, third D-man or the forward. In front, poke check, oh, go! Oh, and that return shot by Bischoff was a laser that missed. Not by much. And now Murphy comes with it. Off the boards by Del Greco. And back comes Overman, tries to poke it to safety. Muscles away from that, worst in front, gets a stick on that. Pokes at it, Clafton clears that one out of the slot area. And now the Thunderhawks will look to play this one up ice. Thunderhawks will most likely here be falling to three and three on the season. Hornets even up the record.